I'm Dr. Natasha Hurley-Walker and I work at the International Centre for Radio Astronomy Research as an astrophysicist. An astrophysicist is trying to explore the universe and understand how it works and apply the kinds of physical laws that we've worked out here on Earth to the entire universe. And radio astronomy is the use of radio waves which come from outer space to explore things in the universe. So there's lots of different objects out there that can make radio waves. Things like giant clusters of galaxies, exploding stars, very uh, bright emission around black holes from things falling into them. And these things produce radio waves. And so I and my colleagues, we build great big radio telescopes. We pick up these distant signals and thereby explore the universe. So I think from when I was a small child, I was always interested in space. I was one of those kids that had the glow in the dark stickers on the walls. And I had all the planets in the right order. It always bothered me that I couldn't get them far enough apart to be physically correct. But I had the glow-in-the-dark stickers on the walls and I, I used to go and visit the, the Space Center, which was um, near us in Houston where I grew up. Uh, and so I really wanted to be an astronaut, to be honest. Um, when I heard about Sally Ride, the first American woman in space, I just, something in my head clicked and I realized, oh my god, women can be astronauts. I'd love to do that. Uh, and then I got older and I went through school and I always loved maths and physics and science. Um, but I really just thought the whole, in, whole universe was interesting. You know, chemistry, biology, mathematics, physics, even geology, it all seemed really interesting. So I had trouble really choosing between them and it came down to my teachers, you know, they were, they were inspiring to me uh, and I actually went to university to do biology because I had a really good biology teacher. Um, he was just really inspiring and I, I liked the way that um, we were learning about all these living organisms. But then when I got to university, I realized that I, I miss understanding the why behind things, like the how everything works at the smallest level and also at the largest level, at the cosmic level. And I found myself looking at different um, lecture slots for astrophysics lectures, even though my degree was ostensibly in biology. So I had a chat with the coordinators and I changed over to physics and genuinely have never looked back. Absolutely love it. I think my biggest supporters were my own parents. They actually both trained as physicists, so I have a bit of a bias in my upbringing, but neither of them stayed physicists. They both got jobs in the real world, whereas I've stayed here in university space. Um, but I think for inspiration, I probably have to turn to the world of science fiction, um, because uh, it was like in, in books and on TV, that I saw people doing really amazing things and going out and building spaceships and exploring the universe that way. And when you're a kid, that sort of visceral excitement is a little bit more understandable that people are sort of zooming around on a spaceship. As you get older, you realize we don't actually need to do all the tedious flying around in space. You can just build the telescope and discover things immediately. Fantastic. Um, but when I was a kid, that was, it was things like Star Trek. <laughs> really inspired me because I kind of wanted to be those people going out and exploring the universe. Um, I would say that you should follow your enthusiasm, follow your passions, think about what you enjoy. So for me, surprisingly, after years of analysis I've worked out that the things that I really love are understanding, so discovery, learning something new and being the first to learn that. Amazing feeling. Uh, and also how systems work and making really, really good systems. So part of my job involves writing uh, software for supercomputers to process the vast amounts of astronomical data we get. And uh, making that stuff work really well, it's actually very enjoyable. So I would have a look at the sorts of things that you like doing and focus on those and think, hmm, what kind of career would allow me to explore those things? And talk to people, like network, take every opportunity you can to connect to real scientists in fields that you're thinking about working in. Women like me who are working in science, we know there's not quite as many of us as there are as men and most of us are very willing to talk to young women and um, explore the opportunities. So I'd say those are the things. Focus on your passions, focus on what makes uh, you happy and get out there and learn more about it. The final thing I'd say is believe in yourself. The biggest mistakes in my life have been where I haven't had the confidence 
to pursue what was the right thing to do, what was the interesting route to follow. And the best things have come from when I really seized those opportunities. So have the confidence, try. And, you know, science is literally the process of making mistakes and learning from them. So you can't go wrong.